Hi, my name is Jody Ettenberg, and this is the Gluten-Free Cards Project. I am trying to help celiacs travel more safely and with less anxiety by working on celiac translation cards that are super detailed and that you can show to restaurants as you travel around the world. I was diagnosed with celiac disease in the early 2000s. It was a time before people were very aware of what the disease was and really the strict necessity of what it entailed to eat very differently than how I was brought up. I used to work as a lawyer, but I quit my job in 2008 to take a one-year sabbatical that seems to have turned into a new career. And in the process, I've been writing mostly about travel and food. Now food is really important to a lot of us as we travel, but as a celiac, I really had to pay attention to what I was eating and the ingredients in it and make sure that I wasn't going to get sick. There were many places that still have no understanding of the disease, but also no awareness of what gluten is or what it's inside. And I couldn't accurately communicate the restrictions that I had. This came to a head in Japan, and I was there for a month and got sick quite a bit, including when I had a guide and when I used translation cards in Japanese that were very simple and said that I couldn't eat wheat, barley, rye, and soy sauce. So when I came back, I built my own cards that were quite long and accounted for cross-contamination and local food names. And I sent a reader out after I had paid to translate it so that she could try it out and let me know how it went. Well, not only did she not get sick, but she actually had a fun story where she tried to order an amame and the chef told her no, which was a surprise since they are usually gluten-free. But it turns out that they had been cooking the edamame in the water from the udon noodles. And that was enough to have gotten her sick for sure, but also the cards were detailed enough that he was able to communicate and tell her no. And it was amazing. I was so happy when I got that email. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep building these cards and hopefully other people who wanted to travel with celiac disease could do so more easily. Each of the cards not only talks about cross-contamination, but it's researched by a food-loving celiac and they're translated twice and the second translator goes through to make sure each of the translation words that are used are extremely rigorous because small mistakes are enough to get anybody sick. Ultimately, these were created to be as simple as possible. You download them straight to your phone. They're sized for smartphones since many of us travel with smartphones these days. And my goal really was to help people with celiac disease not have to stay home because they were too worried to travel. Understandably, it's a real anxiety-inducing thing to not know if you can communicate your food restrictions safely. So I really hope that these cards help demystify that process and give people a little more confidence to go out and explore while knowing that their stomachs will hopefully be okay.